Hi, Steve. Yes, the crowd has kind of dwindled a little bit, but we have a little mini crowd hanging out, enjoying the day here and watching our amazing demonstration coming up. I am here with Ken Scarnegie, who's the founder of Pet Supplies Plus Classic Canines. That's a mouthful. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, tell me, what exactly is Classic Canine? The Classic Canines are a group of pet owners that train their dog for various dog sports. And why was it established to begin with? Well, we established it to give people that do train their dogs with obedience and dog sports an opportunity to play with their dogs. So it builds up the camaraderie, the bond between the dogs and their exactly, owner? Exactly, exactly, between the pet owner and, you know, and the pet. So. Now tell me, how do you become a member of the Classic Canine? Well, we perform in 30 shows a year throughout the country and in Canada, and they come down and, and show us their stuff, and obedience-trained dogs can participate and have fun just like everyone else. All right, let's get this demonstration started for you, Steve. Go ahead, let's see what you're, what are they doing exactly? This event is called high jumping. They are going to be into two lead-in jumps to a rack of bars at the end. Uh, it's a basically an elimination comp, uh, competition where if they knock a bar, they are eliminated. They'll run the field through until the highest dog. Now I understand um, if they knock over a pole, you have to put ev every pole back up, correct? Certainly. We add the bars and replace them as they're knocked, but if the whole rack becomes destroyed, then we have to rebuild the rack and continue. Now, I understand that you told me that dogs do not have depth perception, so you cannot put just a single pole up high. It won't jump over that, right? No, certainly not. In fact, you'll notice that the stripes on the poles are, are diagonally set so that it builds a brick wall illusion. A, a single pole, the dog would go under. Now, there's one of the dogs here um, named Rascal who's just, who just jumped over right there. He's a service dog, right? Right. Rascal is a service dog. helps his handicapped owner, Carol, with such things as answering phones, picking up keys, opening doors, and things like that. So this is a type of dog Olympics in a way? Sure, in a way. We've been referred to as the Olympics. We have 17 different events, Grand Prix racing, fly ball, fun games like musical mats, and of course high jumping. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Ken. I want to come and talk to some of these dog owners and their dogs. Z, can you come over here with me? Oh, wow, that was a that great, was a great one. one. Yes. Yeah. Now tell me, what is your name? Tina. And who is this? Gizmo. So tell me, how did you and Gizmo get involved in this? Uh, we started out in obedience, and then we went on to agility and stuff. And why do you like doing this? Because it's a lot of fun, and it brings me and my dog closer together. It really does. Okay, thank you very much. And who are you? Hi, I'm Marianne. And who's this? This is Princess. Princess, hello, Princess. Hello, hello. <laughs> now, um, why did you get involved with this to begin with? Well, because I got a new puppy, and I wanted to train her. And we went into obedience class, and now we're into jumping for about two months. And Princess can actually high jump? Well, she can't jump as high as those other dogs did, but we can handle one or two bars. Great. Now, who are you? Hi, Bob Romano. And this is? Mally Sue. God, beautiful dog. Thank now, you. what other things can your dog do besides high jump? Well, she's got a couple of titles in the AKC. She's um, uh, CDX, which is a companion dog, excellent. And she's a novice agility dog in the AKC and also a canine good citizen. Great. Thank you for joining us today. And you are? I'm Carol. Hi, Carol. And who is this? Oh, this is Rascal. Yes. Now, how did you become involved with this? Uh, I just found out about it a couple years ago. And do you think Rascal enjoys it? Yes, he does. Yeah, you guys have fun together. And one more, just very quickly, I want to talk to this person you are. Judy Sullivan. And you're responsible for all these dogs being here today? Some of them, yes. Okay. I have an obedience class in Freeport. And who are these dogs? This is Doogie Bowser, this is Donzie, and that's Jesse. Well, thank you very much. I love the name Doogie Bowser. I have to say, that's the, that's the best name I've ever heard. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you to Ken Scarnegie, and bye from Madison Square Park. Can we see one more big old high jump before we go? Just sure, to let's see off. one more big high jump. Who can do a big high Rascal jump one more time? Rascal, can. let's do it. Over. Over. Go, Rascal. Over. Boom. Oh!